who could forget it? Iconic scene from Rocky III between Rocky Balboa and Apollo Creed. Well, those are longtime friends right there. Sylvester Stallone and Carl Weathers. And Weathers passed away last week. He was just 76. And we are going to ask Sly about that special friendship in a moment. But first, we want to just welcome his and his family here. We've got Sly, his wife Jennifer, their daughter Sophia, Sistine, and Scarlett. Hi, ladies. We're all here to talk about season two of The Family Stone, which is a bona fide hit. So congratulations Thank on you. that. Thank we got to take a moment for Carl. Yeah. What a beautiful relationship uh, on screen and off. Yeah, it really was. I mean, it still chokes me up. I was numb to the fact because I saw him as Superman. Mm -hmm. He really was. He had the voice, the talent, the humor. Mm -hmm. He had it all. So he, I couldn't have made it without him because he just brought that element, you know? Yeah, I and mean, people think of Rocky, but it's Rocky and Apollo. Oh, I mean, you wrote it. <laughs> this was this was a partnership. Yeah. That's what makes it so special. And we got off to such a rocky start because when he came in and he auditioned with me, he goes, where's the real actor? What? Uh, I, I can't read with the office guy. I go, oh. <laughs> Time out. Yeah. I said, he's so arrogant. I love this guy. <laughs> it's working for him. Yeah. Well, I know your heart is so much with him yeah. and the Thank family. You. So we just wanted to take a moment. I, I do want to talk about season two. You have a hit on your hands. You know, I don't know if you know this, but most reality shows don't get reviewed like this. Here's one that says, one of the most likable people to ever swagger in front of the camera. <laughs> swagger. Sly wow. is reality TV gold. Are you guys surprised at the reaction? No. No. You knew know. you had a hit on your hands. Well, we knew I am you would be great at it because he used to kind of do a reality show on his Instagram a little bit. And I think, okay, <laughs> obviously the acting helps, but his hesitation became the best thing ever because once he got in front of the camera, he doesn't get out of it. He literally looks <laughs> he at the camera and talks to the audience. So you're like a ham. You're like, yeah. you're, you're, it was, it's good that it's there. Now, I saw the, the, um, the preview. Like, are you really boxing the Pope? I am. Oh. He said the wrong thing. I said, come on, step outside. <laughs> oh he goes, no, I'm going to stay inside. It's okay. I mean, it's just incredible. So um, you're in season two. Tell me about, like, what's going on with the girls There's this season. There's a lot of changes. Yes. We moved yeah. from the West Coast to the East Coast. Okay. Mm -hmm. Same with the girls. So we moved out of our house in Beverly Hills, and we moved east because they live in new york now yep. scarlet goes to college in florida so they just follow us every day yeah how is, how is it being in college and having sometimes this reality tv crew following you you know it, at first when the cameras were following me on campus i was very overwhelmed but then you get used to it that's why season two is so good because we finally got used to being in front of the camera now we can really show our personality yeah, yeah. <laughs> well now i know the two of you are out and about you're dating a yeah. little bit yes it yes. seems like your dad and stop me if you disagree and please don't punch me rocky but um <laughs> he seems like kind of a stage five clinger as a dad <laughs> yes a little yes. protective would you he's, agree oh yeah a little oh. he's it's the like most having overprotective <laughs> overbearing guy yeah if he had it his way we'd live at home till we we're about 55 Elite. single single you'd be married to god no nothing yeah so does that scare off the guys oh, oh all yeah. the time we've yeah. had so many dates where they've brought him up and within the first five seconds, we already know it's a red flag. They've brought scripts to her dates. They've, the they've problem, auditioned. The problem is when we do muster up the courage to bring them home, they never normally come back. Yeah. Um, <laughs> because he does a whole... They are one-hit wonders. Well, like. What's actually interesting, that could be like a good breakup strategy. Like That's, if you're dating these girls and she yes. brings you home... They want to and get rid of he's you. He's actually good at writing the he letters does, yeah. to, to break up. I write break up letters. You do? No, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's so bad because he's what so... Is, he's so they're, give they're, me an example. They're not brutal enough. I say, I would rather live in Egypt forever <laughs> in the sun okay. than spend another... Not that no, he not that to a guy for me in middle school because he kept calling for homework help and he thought the boy was trying to ask me on a date. The guy never called like in fourth grade. That was said, fourth yeah, grade I'm okay. sorry. She's in Egypt. This yeah. may be related, but I have a clip of you all from this season... At self defense class. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yeah. I have a responsibility as a father to do everything I can. And the first thing is we have to learn about a little self defense, something. Honestly, my dad is the most paranoid person on the planet. He is crazy. Growing up, we had to learn how to fight off a coyote. He always made them over prepared. Like, what if someone comes up and gives you a piece of candy? What are you going to do? God, he's so annoying when he's nervous. <laughs> I mean, so you guys all, we have also learned, have an excellent impersonation of your father. Oh, oh. Can we just give, can you, somebody just give me a little bit? I'm the worst at it. I okay, would say my mom does it. Oh, okay, Jennifer, yeah, let's like, hear. It's totally, it's uh, totally. 
you know, Jennifer, I'm a little hungry <laughs> and I want breakfast, but like a oh, little so bit. Man. I'll have eggs, I've I'll been have here pancakes. For... Or... <laughs> no, but you go, no. Jennifer, I'm just a little hungry. No. And then he like tells me 10 things he wants for breakfast. Just a little hungry. Just, you know, make those eggs you always make. Put yeah, some jelly in there, pancakes in there, and a fruit plate. No, it's fine. I said, it's fine. Pick up the towels. Why, <laughs> oh, why, yeah. you, why, why do you eat? Why is your food all over you? I said, it's okay, I have it later. Yeah, it's oh, just want... turned into therapy. Yeah. 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 I, I think everyone can see why this is pure gold. So you got, you mentioned, Jennifer, you guys are empty nesters. You moved to Palm Beach, which is hilarious. And, and we filled that nest with cavapoos. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, so you know, I have a very tough a dog. A yeah. real, like, a real not a rocky. Doberman. It's a real rock. Well, and we have a cat, a little house cat. <laughs> I mean, okay, and then you had a really touching goodbye with some of your L.A. friends, including, and I did not know this, so forgive me if it's well known, Henry Winkler oh. is an old friend. Beyond and old he friend. has said that he modeled the Fonz character after you. Yeah. Oh, he's he's being he very generous. That. I know, but you know. I mean, that's flatter. kind of that's amazing. <laughs> no, my character is much <laughs> more. Would you say uh, bullyish? Okay. He was very nice. Yeah. He was genuine. My character, like, oh my god. Well, we're excited. It's a horror movie. Yeah, oh my gosh. Well, we're so excited. It's so fun to see you guys together. It's Sly and the family Stallone is coming back at premieres February 21st on Paramount Plus. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.